what's up you guys thank you guys for clicking on the video i am here so excited to share with you guys my thoughts my review on the new mac sculpting palette i think that's what it's called the mac sculpt and shape contour palette sculpt and shape contour palette okay that's a really long name i'm not gonna remember but anyway basically the mac contour palette I'm so excited I have finally gotten around to make this video. I've had it for I think like a month now. I got the new sculpting palette and the 24 hour concealer that they just released also. So I did my you know eyebrows, my eyeshadow, my lashes. I put on fake lashes which that takes me like 20 minutes. You know lipstick, all that good stuff. So I did a complete face, full face. And I also just kind of like messed around in between so that's why it took me two hours to do this So basically now I've been wearing the sculpting palette and the concealer for two hours and I love how it's looking so far um, Let's see Let's talk about the palette So actually no, let's stop, start off with the concealer because that's what I used first So the concealer First off, I love that they included a wand in there because I i mean, I didn't mind using the Pro Longwear Concealer with the little pump, but it just makes it so much easier to apply, you know, having that little wand in the new concealer, so that's a plus. Um, I know that side by side, both concealers do, like one of them looks like it has more. Obviously, the, the 24 hour concealer looks like it has more, but I think maybe they just made it larger because it has that wand in there so that definitely takes up space inside of the bottle versus the Pro Longwear Concealer with the little pump you know all it has in there is just the little tiny little skinny tube in there that pumps out the concealer so that doesn't take up too much space in there so that's why I feel like maybe that one's smaller and but I mean I don't know actually let's let's see which one has more the Pro Longwear Concealer has 0.30 fluid ounces and the 24 hour concealer has 0.24 fluid ounces. So then I guess the Pro Longwear definitely does have more. Not even too much more, just a little slightly, just a, a little tad bit, just a tad bit more, but I don't care. The 24 hour concealer is $22, which makes sense because it does have slightly less than the Pro Longwear concealer. And the Pro Longwear concealer is $24, so that's $2 more than the 24 hour concealer. So that's not that bad. $2 difference is nothing really. One thing I do have to say about the 24 hour concealer is it has a weird smell. Just as soon as I started applying it, I smelled it. I don't know what the hell that smell is. I don't know why they would add that smell. It's not even like a nice scent. It's, it smells like, it smells like, like alcohol or, it smells a little bit like rubbing alcohol. I don't know why. Why would they make it smell kind of like rubbing alcohol? Or maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. No, it smells like rubbing alcohol. Okay, whatever. That's one thing I don't like about the concealer. But it wears really nicely. I do feel like maybe I should have gone one shade or like a half a shade lighter. Because when I bought this, I was darker and then I barely used it, which has been like a month later. So I feel like my tan did fade away. But I'm still going to keep it because I'm going to, I'm planning on tanning still so you know I'll end up getting darker I'll need this one and then I still have the Pro Longwear concealer which is a, a lighter shade um so anyway okay so I love how it has the wand and I don't like the smell that it has it does feel very wet I saw a video review of I don't know who it was the, the she reviewed the the palette and the concealer and she was trying to like contour and do everything with the concealers with different shades and it hers it, it like the way she was doing it it was just it just dried out so fast and then i was afraid that it was gonna dry out for me the same you know and like i so i i still tried to do the same steps i didn't use um 
a dark shade to contour but I just used my my concealer to highlight so it didn't dry out fast to be honest even the Pro prolonged concealer dries out faster than this one because I did it in the same steps that I would use the regular other prolonged concealer and the prolonged concealer dries out pretty fast the 24 hour one it stayed very wet so I mean I guess that's a good thing I don't know maybe because it's brand new it was the very first use so we'll see how that works out and it does blend very nicely with everything else I use a foundation stick by Anastasia in the shade Coco I used that to contour and it blended really good with the concealer now let's talk about the palette I love the palette hands down it's the best contour palette I've tried and I've only tried two so I mean that doesn't really say much I've only tried the Anastasia and this one but to be honest this one beats the Anastasia one at least for my skin tone it like matches me perfect I would say because I started doing my makeup in the daylight it's now nighttime and I started when the Sun was still was out uh, so I saw it in the sun and it just it matches way better I thought it wasn't gonna match me very well because the shades look a little lighter than the ones on Anastasia on the Anastasia palette but I like having both now actually because I feel like the MAC one is gonna be my go-to palette when I'm just like normal throughout the year in the fall, winter but when summer hits I'm gonna switch to the Anastasia palette those are a little bit more deep and warm that's why I feel like they don't match my skin tone very much even when I do tan I have to be like really tan for that to even be close to me or like I don't know how to describe it it's just like it has different undertones but I still love that palette and I can't let go like I absolutely love that palette I can't let go of it I feel like I'm still gonna be reaching for the Anastasia palette here and there plus the fact that um, I got it for like I think it was 50% off at Marshall I think it was like 18 19 dollars and um, regular price is like 40 bucks or 45 I'm not even sure but I know I paid for sure like 40 bucks for it originally well that's a really good deal and who knows if they might discontinue it so I just want to keep it in there you know because you never know if they're gonna get rid of it I love the Anastasia one so I'm gonna hold on to it but the MAC one definitely definitely is gonna be like a new favorite it it I don't know if you have skin like mine which is mine is I'm pretty tan but I'm more like on the gray side I have like gray undertones I would say like when I tan, I don't look warm or or bronzy. I look like, I don't know how to describe it. Is it like on the olive side? I'm not too great at these like makeup descriptions. I still suck. I need to, I need to develop a better vocabulary when I'm speaking about makeup because I have no idea how to describe things. So I'm not on the warm side I would say I'm more on like the gray side so this MAC sculpting palette definitely fits my skin tone better way way better than the Anastasia one that one is definitely more on the warm side I can now say that that one is not for me I don't know why I've been using it but I just I'm not gonna let go of it because I absolutely love it so yeah the MAC one does, it looks more natural on me. It just, it really just, my makeup looks more natural. So I like it. And I'm a MAC girl. I love MAC. I, it's just like, I'm just, I will ride for MAC till the day that I die. I love the fact that they came out with this palette. And they have two options. I feel like they need to come up with one in between. Like, this one's a little light, the one that I have. And then there's a darker one. So I feel like they need to come up with something in between. And then something even darker, darker for like darker, darker shades. But I mean, that's just me, whatever. I'm happy with the one that they do have now because one of them does fit my needs, but I feel like maybe two is not enough. They need to come up with more. Um, okay, and the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape uh, Contour Palette is 39.50. 
And the Anastasia contour palette is $40. I'm looking at it on my phone right now. So I see what you did there, Mag. It's $39.50. They just took 50 cents off the price of the competitor. So I mean, that isn't really much. So one thing I will say is the MAC palette, the pans are bigger. They look just a little bigger than the ones from Anastasia. I tried to, to look in, at, the, um, at the measurements and everything and see what has more. But I feel like I was going to have to do math and I didn't want to do any math. So I can just tell you guys that by looking at it, it looks like the MAC palette has more than the Anastasia does. The pans are bigger, but I don't know about the thickness. I, cause, I mean, I can't take out the pans and compare the thickness of the pans, you know? But I definitely think that the MAC one has more product. And I mean, just by everything, all like the bullet points, you know, that I've been listing pretty much, I'm gonna go with the MAC. The MAC is way better. I just think that it's 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 better. I'm so glad that they made this palette. I am so glad that they made this palette. It's bigger, it's better, it has that mirror, it stands up, it's it's more natural looking, you know, on my skin. It looks more natural, so that's a good thing. So the MAC one is $39.50 and the Anastasia is $40, but you can get the Anastasia contour kit at Marshalls. If you can find a Marshalls that has those brands, then I mean, why not get it? It'll be cheaper for those of you that want to save your money. So anyway, you guys, that was my review. These were my thoughts, my opinions, my feelings. This is everything I thought about the palette. I hope that it was helpful some way. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for clicking on it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the whole thing if you actually stuck around. And just remember, keep up with my videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.